Hello, it is Sunday, fun day, August 22nd, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and of course, uh, all over the world, there's not really a fun day, not fun times happening, especially not for the United States. Uh, pretty much the most embarrassing uh, period of time on the world stage for the U.S. Uh, proving uh, with this, uh, this incredibly uh, irresponsible, embarrassing, uh, ineffective, uh, deadly murderous uh, pull out from Afghanistan. Of course, we had to pull out the troops. We had to pull out before the troops helped other people get out, the innocent and the, and the powerless uh, get out. That's not the way it's done. But anyway, um, that's my point just uh, coming to you today is, uh, you know, the world needs and you're seeing the world is crying out for a strong United States. Even all the liberal, idiotic world leaders, the globalist losers like uh, France and England and Canada and Germany, well, not England, but Germany, whatever. They're all like, oh, uh, the U oh, we need the U.S. Uh, they, they left us high and dry. Uh, you know, uh, now NATO's messed up and, and we're messed up. And, you know, yeah, that's right. That's right. And here in the U.S., of course, the U.S. is messed up because that's what happens when you allow people who hate America to run America. So all this, uh, you know, oh, Trump is mean. Well, you know, have you ever had a mean, tough boss? Like who wasn't looking to make friends of you, was looking to be an effective leader? Like who gives a rip how nice they are? Uh, this whole thing with, oh, Biden, oh, welcome back into the club with all of us loser globalist, losing leftist, weak countries. Like, and now they're realizing, oh, wait a minute, oops. We depend on a strong U.S. And all this anti-American hating, oh, all these, I mean, it's so disgusting and now embarrassing that we have these Congress people who, who hate America. They hate the flag. They hate the national anthem. It's a racist country. It's an evil country. It's a terrible country. It's oppressive. It's, it's are you are, out of your mind? This is what you get. If you knock down the most powerful country on earth, guess what you get? The entire free world suffers. Well, in the same way, your business is the same. Your community needs your business, your family, your employees, your suppliers, possibly even larger than a community, depending on, on the rippling effect and how wide and large your target market is. Could be your whole state, could be your region, could be your whole country, could be the whole world needs small businesses, that means yours, to be successful, to lead the way. It's not about being liked or being woke or being nice or having the right pronouns or, uh, you know, coming up with some cockamamie BS from, uh, you know, decades ago or hundreds of years ago that the U.S. was founded on a racist, whatever. who gives a rip? Right now, you need to do what you can to be as strong as you can to get your business as strong as you can, just like the U.S. needs to get rid of these anti-American hating, America hating leaders who are just dragging the country down and with it, the entire world. We need to get back up to the strong U.S. You need your business to get up to be a strong business I understand that 90% of Americans, at least, and I don't know what the percentage is around the world, do not own a business and therefore can look down at business owners and, oh, uh, we, need a mor we need a moratorium uh, on eviction. Well, that's looking down on all the landlords. Well, not every landlord's a big, you know, conglomerate that can handle losing out on rent and coming out of their pocket and their life savings. It might be somebody who lives downstairs and rents out the upstairs might be someone who has a one or two properties they rent out and you're destroying them with this anti-business, anti-success attitude that America has. Well, how's that working out for you? So you be strong, you lead the way, you do your part, put the blinders on and don't give a crap about the naysayers who don't like business people and say when looting and rioting is going on, well, well, that's reparations. And, and that's okay because white people own those businesses and white people are oppressors in this racist country and they deserve to get looted and rioted and burned down. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's, it's mostly peaceful. Well, of course, it's mostly peaceful. If 90% of the people all day long were peacefully marching, and then as soon as it turned nighttime, 10% of the people came out and were violent and looting and rioting and burning and killing, like, gee, mostly, who gives a crap was mostly people? I mean, this is just such weak crap been going on. 
this is what we get. We get this, we get people going to die. Innocent people are going to die and already have died in Afghanistan because of our weakness. And that's undoubtedly now gonna come here because when the terrorists see that we don't do anything to stop them there, they know we're not gonna do anything to stop them here. So terrorism is coming, congratulations, weak anti-American leadership of the US. Don't let it happen to your business. Don't become weak, don't become woke, don't become full of BS. Understand why you're running a business in the first place and do it the very best you can, no matter what any of the naysayers and the business owner haters and all that BS, no matter what they say or think or do. Overcome it, do your best, lead the way. That'll do it for Sunday Funday. I'll catch you back here again tomorrow. Over now, bye-bye.